Hello everyone, I want to talk about chargers today, and more specifically the M6 DAC from Toolkit RC. Now this charger is mighty and it's loaded with features. Everything from a metal dial wheel, to a 65 watt fast charger output for your cell phone, to this beautiful user friendly interface that you see on a 3.5 inch LCD screen. This charger is DC and AC so you get the convenience and it's also two channels. Now here are the specs, you can go ahead and freeze frame it, but now let's get to the unboxing. Hey all, Noons here from Banana Hobby and welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. And today I'm going to go ahead and unveil the new chargers carried by Banana Hobby, Toolkit RC. Now, a lot of you probably haven't heard of Toolkit RC and a lot of you have. Now, their name is exactly what they do. Toolkits RC. They make toolkits for RC. So they make chargers, servo checkers, battery checkers, things of that sort, and power supplies. Today we got the M6 DAC from Toolkit RC, and I'm going to go ahead and unbox this bad boy for you guys to see if you're interested in the charger. Welcome back, y'all. We got the eye in the sky, and we got our M6 DAC right here in the box. Right here it does say US version. I'm almost sure that's because of the plug. We have a card right here with their QR codes to follow on their social media sites. Okay, there's the charger. And the plug. And here's the standard 110 power plug. And here's a USB to USB-C plug. Yeah, you can use this in the charging port or use it for updating the charger. Comes with a small little manual, tell you what the charger is about, and it also comes with a screen protector, which is pretty cool. Right, let's pull this charger out. Now, this charger right here, this is going to go ahead and replace my high tech uh, X2 that finally burnt out. I've had that thing for a long time. There's the Toolkit RC M6DAC, y'all. What do you think? Nice and black and sleek. Shiny three and a half inch screen, aluminum wheel. So let's go ahead and talk about this charger and the features that you got on here. Let's go ahead and start off right here. You got your cooling fan. You got your 110 input, your DC input, and here's your USB-C. This is used to charge your phone, 65 watts, or updating your charger. As you see over here on the front, you have channel A, channel B, channel 1, channel 2, whatever you want to call it. XT60 connectors. we got our balance plug lead right here. We have our temperature probe as well. Now on this charger right here, guys, this can be DC or AC. Now on AC, you're going to get 100 watts on channel A and 100 watts on channel B. Now if you want to also run this on DC, it'll be 350 watts on this channel, 350 watts on this channel. Now this charger also has another capability where it's called synchronous mode. So asynchronous is each channel operating independently and synchronous mode is basically both channel outputs into one battery. I'll go ahead and link a picture in here. So in doing so, you can get 200 watts on AC into one battery or 750 watts, which is ridiculous. The metal wheel right here, you have an, also another button here. Uh, this button right here, this is your exit button and you're switching from channel A to channel B. This right here will scroll left, scroll right, and your enter is basically just push in on that. That's pretty much the charger, everybody. Let's go ahead and plug this in and let's go through a few scenarios to show you how good this charger is and how to actually use it. All right, let's power on. And there we go. She's on, as you can see, she has a colored screen. Let's go over the screen. Right up here, you have your power input. It's supplying 24 volts from the onboard 200 watt power supply. There is 0.0, .0 watt hours being distributed. The USB is supplying zero volts because there's nothing plugged into the rear at zero amps. This right here is our temperature control and that right there is the fan for the fan speed. This is channel one, channel two, 
like we talked about earlier, this right, this button right here selects between the channels and is also your exit button. We'll push this in one quick time and that takes you to your battery menu on how to charge your batteries, but we'll exit there. Let's do a long press. And that takes us into our setup menu. Now let's go over a few of these settings. We have our input settings. This is the power selection for coming our input power. Oops, let's go ahead and get back in there. We have our security settings. Here's our synchronous mode that we were talking about earlier where we connect the two channels uh, into one. This is where we'll select it on. Continuous work. You can select this on, so if you're done charging a battery, when you plug the charger back in, it will go back to that same battery setting so you can continuously charge the same battery over and over. Work complete, same thing. Uh, we're gonna select end, we're gonna leave that default. Balance start, always. We're always gonna balance charge our batteries. Now this charger right here, we'll go through it later, uh, this balance charges when, automatically when you have the balance plug plugged in. There's no balance charge or charge setting, just a charge. Battery selection is off. Backlight, 6. can also change the buzzer. That's for when it's done, the bell. Theme style, let's go check that out. Light, dark, we'll leave it on light. I like the dark, but for camera purposes, we'll just leave it there. We'll hit back. Now, we're back on the main screen. So let's go to channel A, and we'll go ahead and press the button one quick time. We can select our battery type. Our options are LiPo, Lithium High Voltage, Life, Lithium Ion, LTO, NIBH, PB, Power, and UAV bat. Now that UAV bat right there, guys, that's for DJI batteries that this will go ahead and charge. As you can see, we have drone model we can select. It's pretty cool that we can select from these different DJI drones and charge those smart batteries. Select this back. I'm gonna go to LiPo since that's what we always use. Cells, automatic 1S, 2S, or 3S. I don't like using the automatic feature. That's a personal preference because if I have a three cell battery and say one cell's dead and this recognizes it as a two cell, it's gonna charge it as a two cell. I like to know if my something's wrong with my battery. Call it old school, but I like to set that when I'm doing the battery. Mode, like I said, you have charge, discharge, and storage. It automatically balances as soon as you plug in the balance lead. Discharge mode. On the discharge mode, you have set to internal. You can also, when you have two batteries plugged in here, you can, instead of discharging the battery, you can take the power out of one battery and send it to the other. And voltage. Since it's set on storage charge, that's 3.85 volts. We'll go back to charge. 4.2 volts and the charge current. You can also select from channel 1 to channel 2 and our start button. So let's go through a scenario of charging a battery. Okay, y'all. Since I'm going to fly my turbine tomorrow, we're going to run through the scenario. I'm going to charge a receiver battery. This is a 2S 2500 LiPo. And I'm going to be charging a life battery. Now this is a 2100 9.9 volt. So we'll go ahead and plug these bad boys in. XT60 connector. You can use XT90s if you have a adapter, which is no problem. You take your balance plug. And if you look right here, you have your balance leads. It's going to be the red wire to the right and the prongs down. You just line that up and it will slide right in. It's a little harder to do on camera, obviously. And we'll take our life battery and we'll do the same thing. Put it right in there. And the balance lead. Now, if you have a balance plug, uh, you can make your uh, extensions or 
if you want off of my old charger you can connect this in there and just have extensions which is what i'm going to possibly do that way it just makes it more utilitarian now let's get back on the screen okay now to get these batteries charged we're going to select channel one battery type is lithium polymer i like to set it it is a two cell we are going to charge 4.2 volts charge current is going to be 2.5 Everything looks good, and I'm just going to hit start. Charge to 8.4 volts. Okay. And there we go. Now, if you guys notice, it says it's charging and it's balance charging. And here's your balance for your two, uh, cell one and cell two. We can also scroll the wheel to the right. It gives us our internal, internal resistance for the battery. Gives us our overall picture, 19.3 watts going in, final 4.2 volts at 2.5 amps, lithium polymer to uh, S, and that's it. Now let's switch to our channel 2. One short press. We're going to switch this to a life battery. It is a 3S. We're going to charge. And we're going to bring this down to 2.1 amps. Come to start. We'll hit OK. And that's it, guys. She's charging, balancing. Everything's great. When you know this is done, she'll go ahead and set off a beep just like this. And to storage, charge the batteries when you come back from the field. We'll simply select our channel. Battery type. This is our life battery. It is a 3S. We are going to storage charge this bad boy. And we will go down here to start. And that's going to be it, y'all. What can I say? A very easy charger. The Toolkit RC M6 DAC. Easy to set up. Easy to use. Very powerful for a small package that it comes in. 200 watts AC, 750 watts DC. And once again, y'all, thanks for coming by the Noons Airborne RC Hangar. And as always, the link for the charger is in the description down below. Noons out.